Hello, thanks for visiting. Today we're going to make an Ethernet cord. Tools you might need is a stripper, maybe a wire cutter, a crimp tool that crimps RJ45 mod plugs, and we got a little continuity tester that we're going to put on the end of the cables just to make sure we wired everything up correctly. So let's go ahead and strip off a piece of the jacket off the cable. Give it a little turn there. We don't want to try to strip you don't want to rotate your stripper too much around the jacket. You might cut into the conductors itself and you'll have to start all over again. Or you could terminate it all and then find out that one conductor ain't working, you got to do it all over again. Now we have four pairs here. This is Cat 5E cable. I'm going to go ahead and separate each pair. Now Cat 5E cable is a 24 gauge rated cable. Cat 6 is 22 or 23 gauge. It's a little thicker, so the labor as far as separating the pairs is going to be a little more difficult. If you got a lot of these to do, you're going to, you know, those thumbnails will start to hurt after a while. Okay, now that we got all the pairs separated, what you're going to want to follow is the 568B color scheme. Uh, it is most common that wiring scheme, that color code is most common on patch cords, jacks, and patch panels. So from point A to point Z, everything's supposed to be 568B to make the proper connection from one network point to the other. So basically we're going to start off with the white, orange, and the orange. And then you're going to want the white, green, followed by the solid blue. Now, we're going to want the white blue followed by the solid green. Then, you're going to want the white brown followed by the solid brown. So now that you have all your colors and conductors lined up, you're going to want to try to keep it flat. Keep in mind that you're going to need your mod plug to slide over the jacket. So we're going to want maybe about, I'd say about a quarter inch of the, uh, maybe half an inch of the exposed cable to show. So we got a lot of excess here. Let's go ahead and cut that off. You're going to want to make a straight cut. So that way it makes the proper connections on the top of the mod plug here for all the pins when you compress them, when you terminate it. Okay, let's go ahead and try to slide the plug. I always put a little bit of force onto, on upward, onto towards the pins. That kind of helps keep the pins and the conductors lined up. Go ahead and slide it in slowly. Push in a bit. Now, as you can tell, the jacket is just above a little slot here on the RJ45 connector. And basically, what it'll, your crimp tool will do is it'll have a little die here that'll compress that in, make sure it's holding on to, uh, it squeezes the mod plug under the jacket, and you got a nice firm grip. And also, it crimps the pins on the RJ45, crimps them down into the conductors, each individual conductor itself. So let's go ahead and get our crimp tool out. We're going to go ahead and slide it right in there. Always make sure to push a little bit and give it a little tension to make sure nothing slides out. Give it a squeeze. Boom. That's one end. Now let's go ahead and do the other end. So we're going to do the same exact thing. Go ahead and strip a little piece off. You got your pull string here, you're going to want to cut that off. Undo all your pairs. And we're going to follow the 568B color code all over again. Same exact thing. Remember, 568B for the jacks and for the patch panels as well. Okay, now that I have all the conductors separated, Let's go ahead and wire it up 568B. So we're going to start off with the white orange followed by the solid orange. 
And then we're going to follow up with the white grain with the solid blue. And then we're going to follow it up with the white blue and the solid grain. So you've got your white blue, your solid grain. Then you're going to follow it up with the white brown, solid brown. There we go. I kind of give them a little bend here. That helps keep them all straight. And uh, as you can tell, once again, we're going to cut, eh, maybe leave about half an inch exposed and we're going to make a straight cut. Remember, it's got to fit nice and straight on the top of the RJ45 plug. So we're going to go ahead and slide it in, press upwards a little bit, make sure hopefully none of the pins or the conductors slide around in there. Go ahead and push it on in. We have the jacket just above the terminating point here. And another pointer is, I know it's hard to tell, but if you look at the top of the plug, you can kind of you can kind of view very up close that each conductor is buttoned up against the mod plug. Let's go ahead and terminate this in. Get your crimp tool out. Push it in there. I put a little extra pressure inward towards the plug. Crimp it. Boom. Just made a Cat 5V patch cord. Now let's go ahead and put our tester on it. Uh, these testers here are basically just check pairs and make sure you got everything right. Uh, if you got a pair wrong, you'll see red. Everything good, we'll see green for both sides. So let's take a look here and we'll turn it on. Okay, we got green lights on both ends. And that's basically how you do it. It's going to be the same thing for Cat 6, Cat 6A. Questions call us 888-797-3697.